right, good day everyone. Hanging out here at Gilbert, Arizona. Premium Coach Group, beautiful. Monaco Royal Prevo conversion. As you can see, it's got that Monaco swoosh in there from their modern day logo with that Royal. Now I have done a complete coach tour of this unit. I'll uh, take you inside here though for just a second, let you see the inside. I'll put a uh, link in the description down below of the complete interior and exterior tour of this beautiful Royal. Nice neutral colors. Monaco keeping a nice simple Prevo conversion going. But I wanted to give you a video today of a competitive built stacker trailer that's available also with this coach. If you wanted to buy the combo, you can buy the combo or you can buy just this coach or you can buy just the trailer if I'm not mistaken. But we'll take you outside, give you a couple more views of the outside of this thing while we go out here to the beautiful stacker trailer. It's going to have all this beautiful stainless across the bottoms, just like the coach. That's why they call it the uh, comp bus trailer. So here's the back end of this beautiful Prevo. We'll take you outside to this stacker. It's going to be a six wheel, six tire stacker. Now you go six, is that all in the back? No, you actually have a steering axle in the front of it. Now, of course, it doesn't steer. It follows along by what way, excuse me, by what way you drag it. So as you can see here, that front tire is turned to the side because they backed it up in here to this space. And that's what left that like that. Now there's a shock absorber that's in there so those don't get head shake while you're towing it. So when you're towing this along and you've got this hooked to your coach, you have no tongue weight on the back of it. You're just basically pulling a trailer with zero tongue weight. Got those four wheels in the very back and then the two in the front. 2007 competitive built trailers. Beautiful black here. Outstanding stainless just glistening here in this beautiful Arizona sun. Then you've got that stainless on the very back here. Even got up there at the very top spot to be able to put a backup camera for if you want to have one on the back of the trailer. Got these large 110 volt outdoor lights here. They're all controlled from a switch on the inside here. So let's go inside and get you all a tour of this thing. So you've got all your 12 volt lighting here. You got your uh, air dump and so on and so forth. Your air conditioners this is going to have dual air conditioners. And then you got that exterior light. And then you've even got some four foot fluorescent interior lights also with the 12 volts here nice overhead cabinets over here on the side little spot to hang some tie downs if you want it got some tire chocks here dual batteries up in the very front and then it's got a let's say this is a holder for some sort of rack or maybe extensions that he's got so you can put your motorcycles up there on that deck I want to say that this is actually, yeah, this is the sunburst carpeted trim to go over those batteries. So you don't see those, of course. Nice 110 outlets. Now this is the stacker unit. So you just simply hit this button and boom, this bad boy will go up. It's got locked pins on the sides. I'll climb up here on this, take you on a tour back here towards the back. We've got that spare tire and wheel for the rears. And then you've even got a spare tire and wheel with the correct offsets for the front there. Nice carpeted walls all the way throughout. Going to have that sunburst style carpet on there. Really nice like they use in the uh, Prevo conversion bays. Little fishing rod holder. Now these are super cool. They're kind of right in my wheelhouse. Being a tool guy and a motocross guy. Let me set you guys up here while I climb up on this deck. But these cabinets are super cool. Let me grab up here, throw a foot up here, and get myself spun up here. But yes, these are super trick. Gonna have, just pull down on this and they unlock. Be able to pull them in and out. Shallower ones up here on the very top. Little work surface there or something like that. You could store some things since it's up here cabinet here with a nice shelf in it even adjustable so these are going to be c-tech aluminum trailer cabinets 
racecabinets.com. And then these will be consistent through here. So beautiful unit. All these fluorescent lights, dual air conditioners. This thing is super sweet. I don't know if my tandem would fit in here, but I know for sure I wouldn't want to pull this with my little intrigue. I'd want to have at least 500 horse to give this bad boy a pull. But all right, everyone, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this trailer video. I know it's a little bit different than usual, but you'll see these going down the road and you're wondering what's going on in there behind these Brigo Prevo conversions. And that's what's going down. You can have your car here, raise it all up, put another car below it or put some bikes on here, raise it up, slide them up there into the top, secure them, bring it back down, throw some more knickknacks and goo -gahs in here or even put a couple sand rails in here, one on the top and one on the bottom and all your good old quads and golf carts up there. But So that's kind of the gist of it. I want to thank everybody for taking that time to watch taking that time to subscribe throw some comments below what you think about this thing i'm sure this is 50 who knows how many thousands of dollars i'll take a look and i'll throw a some title down here below of kind of what these are going for or if i get a price out of cater chat on how much this bad boy is but if you are already interested in it go ahead and hit up premium coach group cater chad they'll get you an answer on the price if you want just this or if you want that beautiful Royal Prevo conversion to go with this, it does make quite the unit. So, all right, everybody, that's enough of it. Hope you're all having a great day. Till next time, bye-bye.